All right, it is time to get this block split, pull the pistons out, and see what the fuck is wrong with this engine. I'm tired of waiting on this. I gotta go back to work in a few days, but I have to get this done. I've been procrastinating. I gotta pull this shit apart. So what I'm gonna do is, I got the manual all printed out for this engine. Gonna be pulling the pistons out. There's some weird process how to do that. You gotta roll it over, pull plugs, and then you gotta like pull the wrist pins out. While it's still in there, all kinds of weird shit. I've seen other videos that people did and uh, hopefully I can do a better job uh, explaining everything as we go along. So, and I realized that I ramble too much in these videos, so I'm just gonna cut it short. Let's get started. That's it. Right there, cracked ring land. From here, holy shit, I broke the, this piece and the bottom, both cracked. This is not the proper way to pull rings off, by the way, but obviously I'm not gonna be reusing these, so. Let's see, let's see where that crack is. Oh, there's one. 
Let's see if I can pull that out. Oh shit. Look at that. So that's one piece. And that's the bottom piece right here. That's cracked. I don't know if it's separated. Oh yeah. Look at that. It was better than the the fourth wake, and that's for sure. For me, cylinder head bolts on a single cam KA are still the stinkiest fucking engine bolts I've ever made. Uh, mains on a Cummins? Those are the worst. Never done. It just smells like burnt fucking asshole. Just always make a habit of doing that and never have a problem. Yeah. Actually, I do have a song. I wouldn't mind showing you. Yeah, there it is. The block is split. That's the two halves there. Pretty interesting engine design. I've never seen one in person like this. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool how it's all laid out. But uh, I'm gonna pull these. Uh, I'm gonna pull these rods off. Check the bearings out, and then uh, basically send it all to the machine shop. Get them to look at it and uh, put it all back together. It's exciting. Those were about to fail, right down to the copper. That's pretty fucking bad. So now that I got the engine completely disassembled, I sent it off to the machine shop and hopefully what they're gonna tell me is that I don't need to machine the block or anything because I want to maintain that maximum rigidity. When you bore out the block too much, uh, you lose a little bit of strength in your uh, cylinder liners because it's an open deck block or semi-open or whatever. So the plan is hopefully it'll be OEM bore. There's really not a whole lot of uh, wear inside the cylinder. Even the machine shop when they first looked at it, they said this doesn't look too bad. So hopefully I can just uh, get stock bore pistons and then put it back together in roughly January. Um, I'm gonna go with probably Mali pistons, Mal, Mal, I don't know how you say it, and ARP head studs, gonna definitely try to build it up a little bit. I'm gonna do another video on how to put in a billet compressor wheel on the VF48 turbos, and then I'll send that, send that out to get balanced so that I get a little bit of uh, uh, security there because I don't want to just throw it back together without it being unbalanced and then uh, the compression ratio of the pistons I'm choosing is going to be 8.5 to 1. I'm going to go with an e-tune probably uh, before I get a dyno tune just to get this thing on the road and uh, that's the plan as of now. I'm definitely going to upgrade the clutch as well uh, to a heavier duty one. I want it to be rated for at least 450 foot-pounds of torque because that's kind of what I'm going to go for is maybe I still want it to be daily driven but I'm going to probably go with around maybe if I can get there 
with enough money. Uh, probably go to around 350 to 400 at the wheels would be pretty good. My last car, uh, my SRT4 had roughly that much power and, and that was that was really fun. So that's kind of where I'm kind of where I'm at now and I want to make the engine reliable so that's why I'm going to go with some forged pistons and all that stuff so I'm going to keep everybody updated I'm going to keep posting to the page and all that stuff so and as soon as I get the parts in and all that I'm going to be putting the motor back together and then after that I'll make more videos and uh, basically go through why I chose what parts I did and kind of the steps that you need to go through when you're building an engine uh, a lot of people pay someone else to do it and I'm doing it myself so there's a lot for me to learn I usually work on diesel engines because I'm a heavy-duty mechanic not an automotive guy um, but I have built another engine for uh, Toyota MR2 which is also on this channel it's one of my earlier videos so I do have a little bit of experience with that so I'll show everybody how to do that and hopefully by the end of January this motor will be running and back together and all tuned and hopefully making a decent amount of power so that's where I'm at now. So thanks for watching. Um, this has been pretty cool. My uh, Facebook page has been blowing up pretty good. And uh, well, not blowing up, but definitely getting some attention, getting some traction now. So it feels good to be making these videos now. And uh, I'm just going to keep it up. So keep watching and thanks for your support, guys.